Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Monday, October 23rd of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's crank up our relentless optimism and our positively positiveness using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to move forward, creating our best possible life now with intention. So thank you in advance for the likes and subscribes. You know the great algorithms are watching. So thank you for clicking that button because it lets it go right away to someone else who may want or need to hear what this reading has to say. That's the whole point is I'm trying to put this out there for everybody who's ready to latch on to something positive and move past all of the craziness we get to see in this life. So we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So I can't think of a, a better energy than making SHIT happen and um, abundance pouring in from <laughs> from that right so we have the king of wands fire sign king he is the king of action he is the self-employed person the person who is a, a a big mover and shaker influencer entrepreneur you name it he's the boss he's the one that's ready to go get it he is a get her done kind of guy or girl this is the masculine energy so it can be male or female we're just talking actual manifestation when it's in the male energy it means it's fully formed when we're in the queen's energy we're talking about the feminine fertility of what money we'll take it so when we're in the queen's energy this is new growth new creative source energy coming in new ideas new downloads and new abundance headed your way where you're in a place of security because when you're the queen life is good so we have the king and queen to start us with masculine and feminine and let's see what else we have Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, balance with the temperance, Sagittarius, major arcana. Now, in the standard tarot, you would usually see an angel, and they usually have two cups in each, you know, a cup in each hand. This is the serendipity, synchronicity, and balance that comes through Archangel Uriel, which is the, the energy of that beautiful matching and alignment energy so having the temperance card means you got to be patient but the universe is working everything out to exact specifications for you divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have one volunteer, which flipped right on over as a world card, and the second volunteer that did not flip face up, so we'll keep it a secret for now, for surprise, and our third card with our underlier of the four of swords the four of swords is your little warning light per se like on your dash light on your car it tells you when you're about to run out of gas or when you're out of washer fluid or you you name it there's a little warning signal for it this is telling you hey you're you're running yourself on fumes here we need to get we need to refuel that means spiritually emotionally physically eat good food get enough sleep rinse ri and repeat right so very solid energy of the four swords if you want to remain grounded and stable allow yourself to fully recover also if you've got something funky going on you don't want to run right out and re-injure yourself or cause it to become worse use common sense universe this is a wonderful card because it's talking about the collective assisting just like we talked about with that energy of the sagittarius archangel uriel the universe is showing you the right path to take to reach your goal so when we start to pay attention to our intuition, that's when we're in the divine flow. If you ignore that intuition, there are all kinds of things we coulda, shoulda, woulda in our lives. And we don't want that to be our story, right? So allow yourself to listen. And flexibility. 
This means when you get a different read on something and you're, you may be hustling and bustling through your day and you get a different read on something, you've got to be able to move with it, okay? Allow that you, you have something different happening and you're going to make adjustments and you're not going to make it to where it's something that's catastrophic. You're going to make it easy as you can through your own energy. I am flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. That means there might be an extra step added that you didn't know about, or there may be a, a, a deadline or something that you didn't know about. Just move with it. Whatever's going on, you can't uh, live your life on. I wish I only would have. You have to move from where you are. So keep yourself focused and remain flexible and let yourself go with whatever's happening. If, if, it's, if there's a weight involved, it was meant to be. Just listen to your intuition as you do so and don't get too panicked about any kind of changes that come up. Well, that'll surely stop a panic. We love abundance. <laughs> that, that's always the best way to end a, a panic is when abundance shows up. Hello. Abundance is always the life of the party, right? Absolutely. Thank you. Beautiful Angel Answers Oracle cards. They have, have come a long way. <laughs> I'll just say this. One of you put a comment on here. Those cards sound possessed because I told the story about them being persnickety. Well, everybody says the same thing about these cards. It's like they need to get to know you before they'll... They, they almost intentionally wreck your reading just because they're they're kind of that kind of, you know, kind of feisty cards. So you just have to know that about them and don't throw them in the trash the first go, you know, go at them because it, they do make you want to do that. When when they're off, when they're not aligned. So you have to work with them a little bit. And then once they get the, the, the flow, then they turn into these blessings. Oh, wow. Okay. Did I just shuffle that or no? I think I did just shuffle it. Um, so, okay. The reason I said, oh, wow, is because I just did the weekly and it had the same card. <laughs> so we have the frequency of allowance that invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. So obviously, uh, the weekly energy is also aligning with this Monday energy for allowance. So we'll take that. This is meaning when the universe brings you something that changes and you have to be flexible, that allow the universe to guide you in that. Right? Manifestation. Well, this is just as good as abundance. Manifestation. Believe in yourself. Trust your instincts and follow your heart. For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart desires. The life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest. And so it is and so shall it be. We receive it. So, we have that energy going in. Oneness. Someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart. Remember, dearest one, that even though there has been a physical parting, spiritually, those we love never leave us. Creation is eternal. Nothing is ever truly missing, for all is interconnected and ultimately one. And so it is. We are. We're all connected through source. Just because we don't have a physical form anymore doesn't mean our energy has gone. I can tell you that because my parents show up all the time. <laughs> so we have the world card. This is the Genesis pattern and or the beginning of the flower of life as the expansion of this energy goes. It also means upgrade. Uh, it can mean promotion. It definitely means a new beginning and the vortex of you stepping through that victory energy that's created by divines as you're giving the direction to move forward. And our second little volunteer is the Capricorn Major Arcana, the Devil card. Now, the Devil card in this particular instance, I believe, is the best depiction because it is totally about that back door into your subconscious that triggers all those childhood conversations and fears and misunderstandings and everything. It loves to live in the, in the energy of chaos in your mind because it can really build some crazy stories then and try to sell that to you. So... Guard the door and make sure when it goes all off the, off the rails that you, that you scoot that out of there. When you see it becoming a toxic thought and you start to have that negative feeling, check yourself and go, wait a minute, where did the, wait a minute, is that even true? 
Is it even true? And, and get it out of there. Nope, you don't belong here. And then you have your choice of how to proceed. We have the, the right, or the right, the left, and right up the middle. So any way you choose to slice it, you're going to end up very close to the same outcome because they're both moving forward and they both come out very close, just like these start this way. So even though there's a lot of ups and downs, it will be virtually the same ending. You just have to align with what you feel is your best way to approach it and then go with that. And the reason I say that is because if you go with someone else's opinion, you're going to second guess yourself the whole way. Go with what you feel and what you resonate with and move forward in that direction because then you can make decisions based on that whether you want to be flexible and and move and change but you won't be blaming yourself for not listening to your intuition remember that was also a thing so that's that's where you have to watch this the the great and powerful diverter that comes in here that wants you to feel your own self-sabotage and things like that so if it's just a Capricorn, if you're a Capricorn, if it's somebody in your life that's a Capricorn, that's fine. But this card's giving you a direct message, and it's not really about you being a Capricorn. It's what this card represents as far as being misled. And sometimes we're the ones misleading ourselves. So, many blessings, my darlings. Have a beautiful Monday. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.